taken in the view. Well, howdy, folks, and welcome to another edition of Long Haul Preacher as we dive into and summarize 2017's career expectations from CitizenCon 2016. The video in the background is provided by Cloud Imperium from their demonstration of Procedural Planets 2.0 at the conference. I thought you might like a look at the direction development of the game is currently going. So the bad news is that major releases on Star Citizen will be slower than many might like, with the good news being that they each will be huge. The idea is, unlike most gaming companies, to get everything as perfect as possible before release. So the 3.x year from the end of 2016 to the end of 2017 is expected to be a quarterly release, about one release every two to three months. So Chris Roberts gave us a breakdown of five expected uh, releases from 3.0 to 4.0, and here are those expectations and how they will affect careers. 3.0, which is expected by the end of 2016, if tradition holds, will open up the game a lot. Technically, there are already combat op contracts, that is, contracts where you expect to have to defend yourself for some reason. Uh, for one thing, uh, you have the bounty, bounty hunting of players who break the law uh, within UEE space. For another, you have contracts which send you out into the middle of nowhere uh, where there is very little protection and you usually run into pirates or aliens or some such. Those are really easy to implement in a game. Uh, all you have to do is is sort of roll the dice and and add your NPC enemies into a certain area, and and boom, you have uh, instant ambush. So this is not surprising that this is the first thing to be implemented. When 3.0 comes out, the professions will uh, open up those contracts that already exist. So now there will be trading, that is the buying and selling of goods. Along with that goes cargo transport, the transportation of goods. Of course, if you have transportation of goods, you also have piracy and smuggling of goods. Uh, There will be mercenary contracts of some kind that uh, they're not really giving too much information on. And there will, of course, be continued bounty hunting as well, uh, both against players and NPCs. Now, to help with the cargo transport, uh, one of the ships they anticipate releasing in 3.0 is the Drake Caterpillar. It's a modular freight ship. So expect that one. 3.1, which will be about two to three months later, as they said, uh, will further open up this uh, with a mining career. Now, the nice thing about the mining, as you recall, is that it has several aspects to it, the mining, the refining, and the processing, and they report that all those things will be opened up, but they will only release the Prospector in 3.1, not the Orion. So... I'm going to guess, and this is only my personal guess, that uh, what was mentioned in earlier developments where some career paths will take you planet side or station side, uh, everything from retail sales uh, to hands-on manufacturing, uh, those parts will be involved with the opening up of mining as a career, which means the refining and the processing will have to happen, again, planet-side or station-side, because the Orion won't exist yet. Uh, We'll see. We'll see. Uh, There's a lot of players who are actually against that, and uh, so far Chris Roberts likes to stick to his guns, but nobody's said anything lately, so we'll just have to see. Now, other careers that will also be coming out in 3.1 will be refueling, which will give a use to the Starfarer, which is grand, because it can not only take in raw fuel, it can also refine it. Uh, it will also open up the career of escorts, which is kind of like a mercenary contract only for defense, which is going to be really needed, uh, both for mining and, shoot, it was already needed for trade, so I don't know why they didn't open it up in 3.0. Now, in 3.2, uh, 
which would be about, what, next summer? It uh, continues the trend with salvaging and uh, being able to salvage damaged ships. Now, only the Reclaimer will be the big one released for this uh, release of 3.2, which means that you will be able to actually salvage ships. That's good. But the thing is, they also report that the the career of repair, which makes sense, if you're going to be able to take a ship apart, you should be able to put it back together. Um, But not the repair ship, which would be the Crucible, will be released. So contracts may come later, or, again, you may be planet side or station side doing these careers. I'm, again, going to hope and, and say that most likely you will be able to do that, which would be a good thing because then you could get some practice in before flying your crucible. Because from what I've seen, it's not going to be an easy career, which is nice. I don't like things that are easy. Uh, There will also be something called a covert mercenary contract. Now, I'm assuming that means either spy or saboteur or uh, stealth operations of some kind of that nature. Uh, What exactly that will entail, it does, they did not specify. 3.3, okay, Uh, this will be late into 2017. It will open up rescue operations. Now, in 3.1, they will release the Cutlass Red, which is considered the ambulance of Star Citizen. Uh, This will open up, I'm guessing, the use of personal homing beacons for being rescued is what they're really aiming at for rescue operations. And, therefore, the ability to go out, find a person floating in the middle of empty space and bring them on board and medically help them out. They've also reported that the career of farming will open up. Uh, The only ship currently on the drawing board for farming is the Endeavor, and it is nowhere anywhere in this list of ships for 2017. So I have no idea. Again, this must be planet side or station side. This makes no sense that they would open it up as a career path and then give you no way to do it. So I have no idea. Now, one thing to note for us podcasters, if you're a podcaster, you might like this one. They will be releasing all Reliant ships with 3.3, which would include then the news van. And CIG has just this week uh, shown what they're doing with cameras, and it is so great to see that they are, are making the cameras act like cameras. So... This is really exciting for us, but it, it's not going to happen until late 2017. Uh, the news van, if you haven't heard, is a two-person ship. It has a pilot up front and a produ- producer in the back. Now, the producer in the back, he has a whole bunch of TV screens that he looks at, and he edits, films, shoots out news works on the fly, excuse the pun, Uh, so that he can be transmitting news from just about anywhere, from races to ongoing battles and so on. Uh, They also said that it will be possible to download that video for podcast use. So this is is big. This is really big. 4.0. Okay, so this would be the end of 2017. Again, I said 3.0 would be about November, December, if tradition holds. 4.0 again, uh, November, December 2017. Uh, This is the one everyone's waiting for. This is the biggie. Because at this point, all we're doing is working in one star system, doing a whole bunch of really long jumps from planet to planet, but only one star system. 4.0 opens up jump points, which means opening up multiple star systems. Now, they're not promising the the universe. They're not promising galaxy. They're not even promising all of the UEE. What they're promising is as many systems as they can they're going to open up but they are opening up the careers of exploration and discovery and science and research which means that some of those jump points uh, will be secret in other words you got to find them which is awesome this is also great for families because this means that they will finally open up uh, one of the areas that i'm really keen to and that is their fictional and simplistic but functional variation of real sciences. Farming is, is can be considered a science, granted, but we're talking about physics um, and chemistry from uh, an observable level. 
And so you'll be using telescopes, you'll be using microscopes, uh, you'll be using computers to analyze data, things like that. Now, I'm hoping that this will open up uh, enough uh, real science behind it that children will be excited about the possibilities beyond just the hack and slash and gunfire and blow things up that you see in all the games these days. This should open up a lot of educational opportunity. They also intend to finally release the Orion, by the way, in 4.0 for mining and refining, and the Crucible for repair work. Remember what I just said about 3.3? By the end of 2017. So uh, we can look forward to that. So there you have it. The career is expected to be available by the end of 2017 in order of expected release. Uh, while Chris Roberts would like each one of those careers to have a designated starter ship, the current designated ones are just the prospector for mining and the terrapin for exploration. With older and or bigger ships like the Cutlass Red for rescue, uh, the Reclaimer for salvage, the Crucible for repair, and so on, filling in the gaps. There is no indication, for example, of a mini Crucible or Reclaimer, which to me would be a space tow truck, to be available in 2017. You never know, but don't expect it. In the meantime, if you have any suggestions uh, for podcasts you would like to see from the Family Fun Night point of view, please drop me a comment below. Don't forget to like and share this podcast if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more, maybe even drop a dollar into the place on Patreon to help me and my family out. And while y'all sort out what you want to do in the Star Citizen universe, remember to pray about it as well, because a family that prays together stays together. I wish you a great weekend, God bless, and I will see you around the verse. Breaker, breaker, put a rat you out there, good buddy. Hey, rat, yeah, I brought that uh, worm poison you wanted. What in the world you want it for? <laughs> okay, now, now, now quit with the big fish stories. We're done. I'm coming. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Big, big worm, got it. Uh-huh.